But of course, there are endless legal barriers. First of all, other EU member states are not proactive when it comes to responding to our requests to remove people under the Dublin regulation. So we have EU member states themselves not following the European Union Dublin regulations and not taking back people that you know have been deemed to be found coming through those countries in the first place. There's a lot of work that's taking place there. That's not just the Home Office, that's with the Foreign and Commonwealth Office as well. And then of course there are legal frustrations that we have. Have. So last minute appeals that come through, literally as we are putting people on planes to remove them through lawyers, through various immigration tribunals, people trying to exhaust all their rights through endless appeal rights. Now, in slower time and in the long term, of course, we will change the policy, we will change legislation. And that is something that I'm committed to. We've said this publicly. But right now, the priority is obviously when it comes to removals, making sure that those individuals that have traveled through EU member states, EU member states are safe countries, that we can return individuals to those countries and they can claim asylum in those EU member states because they're safe countries and those countries have functioning asylum systems.